<laughs> okay, we're going to recap. So what we're talking about here at Citrix Synergy is um, about virtual, virtual computing. And the theme here is about end user experience. And we're seeing technology changing the landscape of our society, education, healthcare, uh, government, uh, just enterprises, the consumerization of everything as we wrote in a blog post uh, last year. And this consumerization of everything really is anytime, anywhere, any device. And uh, Citrix is at the heart of it. I mean, known for some online collaboration, not a big well-known brand in that area, known in the open source circles with Zen, um, doing great stuff now, putting out a plan. It looks like a platform, looks like an operating system, very enabling. And uh, Dave, I got to say, it's, it's impressive. They got the triple threat. And the question is, can they execute? Well, it's, and it's also, as Derek was saying, it's about, um, the end user being able to feel as though that the promise uh, that Citrix is making is going to be fulfilled and that experience is going to be fulfilled. And that's why people are so excited about, you know, HDX. Yeah, no, that, that's exactly it. I think, the, you know, the key to success is your end users have got to be happy. So, we, you know, we all understand there's some great benefits to the IT department, but the key to success is does the user have the experience that, the, that they expect to get their job done? And, you know, with consumerization, uh, we have that demand now to be able to use multimedia and our daily tasks. Uh, well, I got I to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask the question because I've, I've been uh, meaning to ask everybody, but I forgot, but you just reminded me of what the multimedia stuff yeah. is. Um, gaming, I mean, social game. We heard from Zynga. They're on stage with you guys here today. I mean, Microsoft introduces their product that doesn't even need controllers anymore. Gaming's graphics intensely. How do you look at that marketplace? I mean, obviously social gaming is one element. You got Xbox and other environments. Wow. What's happening with gaming? Because that's, yeah. again, that's putting play in the hands of not only just kids, but there's a demographic of gamers in their 40s above that love gaming. And the gamification of our life is driven by mobility. Well, that, that's real interesting because when you get into that gaming, you know, you're talking about some pretty high-end graphics capabilities, obviously, right? You know, uh, and DirectX and uh, powerful GPUs. Um, you know, it's no secret we've been working very closely with companies like NVIDIA and with their next generation, you know, Fermi architecture graphics cards. And so, uh, you know, we've been developing these technologies uh, initially focused on business applications in engineering, in, uh, in the medical sciences, yep. uh, in, in geospatial and so on. Uh, very interesting to see how those technologies could apply into that gaming opportunity. Nice little hint there. I'll just I'll translate that saying gaming is going to be big for them. <laughs> um, it's, uh, virtualization obviously powers and changes the game. And we've been talking about that in the server virtualization for years. And now desktop virtualization you know, with, with, is, is at the edge and the device or consumption point, as the Pano CEO said. Um, when you look at the uh, kinds of UIs that are going to be rolling out, I mean, you know, gaming is one. What other environments do you see? Because what, what we're seeing, Dave and I are seeing in the trend lines is we cover big data. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the hot areas in big data is visualization. So obviously big data you really can't look at. It's just like matrix it's ugly ones. But you know, of all the things we've talked about and had demos with people on theCUBE, anytime we show a, a virtual a visualization of big data, that's key. Zynga, upstairs, big okay. data play. Yeah. Uh, we commented on that earlier. Where's that going in your mind? Because you have to not only have great Graphics at the edge, talked about NVIDIA, the leader in graphics, uh, right. and they settled the whole Intel lawsuit, so we, we covered that at Silicon Angle. But big data and visualization, graphics UI, what needs to happen under the covers to make that real? It's just not about moving graphics to the screen, there's other stuff. Yeah, well, th there's a, there's a lot to it, that? you know, and that's our challenge is to be able to deliver those apps effectively. I, I talk to ISVs who are building these kinds of apps, you know, data visualization. Uh, whether it's uh, in healthcare, for example, you know, trying to convey all that information about a patient in a very uh, graphical way, you know, data visualization, trying to kind of convey that so the doctor can grasp it yeah. quickly, right? And so they're using, you know, some of the more advanced graphics technologies, which we're now supporting. Um, you can envision this in in business intelligence as well, too. You know, where you got a wealth of data you're, you're mining. You guys got a gold mine. It's not just one vertical. I mean, right. you got every vertical has the requirement. Exactly. Okay, well, thanks for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. Wendy Pirelli is going to be coming.